Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you a really awesome trick so you can make your PowerPoint presentations look amazing by adding moving backgrounds so you can create something that looks like this. That's pretty awesome and I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do that now as full disclosure before we jump into this I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee my HR department requires me to say that and also as full disclosure if you're presenting a deck on the same day as your colleagues or maybe your classmates you're gonna have a lot of jealous people and they're probably gonna hate you but hey all the better you're gonna look amazing so why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you step by step how you can do this here I am on my desktop and what I'm gonna do is I am going to launch Microsoft PowerPoint. Now the version of Microsoft PowerPoint I have comes with Microsoft 365. This is the latest and greatest version of PowerPoint. If you have an older version of PowerPoint, you may be able to follow along. However, I'm not gonna make any promises. So what I figured I would do, the travel industry has been hit pretty hard with so many people staying home. So I figured this would be a perfect time to launch the Kevin Travel Vacations Company. And I figure what I can do is to entice people to travel, I'm gonna offer people to go places that no one has ever been to before. Hence our tagline, getting you to places no one else can. Now the problem is my presentation just as is here looks kind of boring. So I have my Kevin Travel Vacations Company and if I throw it into presentation mode, it's a simple black marble boring background that I have here. It doesn't really uh, inspire people to want to travel. So how do I really pull people in and really increase that demand for travel? Well, perhaps with a moving background. What I'm gonna do is let me add a moving background to this and I'll show you how you can do that. So one very easy way to do this, I'm gonna pull PowerPoint over to the side a little bit. And here you see that I have three video files on my desktop. So what I could do is I could simply drag and drop this into PowerPoint and this will insert the video file uh, directly onto my presentation here. What I can also do is if I go up to the PowerPoint ribbon and I click on the insert pivot, what I can do is over here on the right hand side, I could also insert a video this way as well. And I could either use an online video, so think YouTube, or I could pull in a video on my PC. In my case, I had a video on my PC. So what we're gonna do is the moving background will be a video moving in the background. That's how you get a nice effect. Now some tips for choosing a video. If you choose a video, ideally you want one that's not too jarring, it doesn't have lots of sudden movements, it's more gradual, smooth movement, and ideally too, you also choose a background that has nice contrast with the text uh, that you're going to insert on top of the moving image. So just a few guidelines, however, there are ways to work around that, and I'll show you how as we get into this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, basically align the video file with my slide. So this way the dimensions of the video match the dimensions of the slide and here it fits in. Unfortunately though, I can't see my text. What I wanna do is I wanna insert this video underneath my text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the video file and I'm gonna go down to the option that says send to back. Uh, so what this is doing is it's simply moving the video layer down to the bottom layer and it's gonna place the text at the top layer. If you've ever been interested in working with layers in PowerPoint or if you'd like to learn more about how to do it and really have awesome command of layers, I did a separate video on that that'll show you all the ins and outs of layers and one of the helpful tips, you have something called the selection pane that'll help you master layers uh, and I have another video that goes into more detail on that. So what I've done now is I've inserted a nice video on the background and so now if I go into play let's go into slideshow mode you see that the video is not playing well how do I get it to automatically play so let's go back for a moment here what I want to do now is I'm going to click on the video file and when I click on the video file you see I have two additional options up here on the PowerPoint ribbon the first one is video format the second one is playback let's take a quick look at what these options do and how you can use them when I click into video format this allows me to format the the way this video looks so some of the things I could do is I could correct the cut the uh, the 
brightness of the video. I could also correct the color. I could set the poster image or the image that appears before the video plays. You could add things like borders. You could even crop the video. So there are lots of things I could do within video format, but I'm actually satisfied with the way the video looks. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump into playback. Now within playback, some of the things that I can do here, I could trim the video, I could have it fade in and out, but what I wanna do is I simply want the video to automatically play. So that's where I go over here. You see an option that says start. And if I click on this drop down menu, I have three options. One of them is in click sequence. That's if I click the play button on the video. I could also have the video play automatically or when I simply click on the video. Well, I want it to play automatically. And what I also wanna have happen is when the video finishes playing, I want it to loop again. And you have this option here that says loop until stopped. I'm gonna go ahead and check that. So what I can do now, I'm gonna go into slideshow mode and here you can see the video start playing in the background. And once it reaches the end of the video, it'll simply play it again. So imagine that I have my uh, slideshow or my presentation up and people are entering the room. I could simply put up my title slide and just have it play again and again as people are entering the room. Uh, so that's one thing that I can do. And that looks very nice. I think this is already a little more enticing. Uh, this will really excite customers when I meet with them. It's a, a much flashier uh, PowerPoint presentation here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on to the next slide. And uh, so here what I've done is I feature some of the destinations that my company goes to. Now here you see a similar video. Now one of the problems is before the video started playing, if I go back a little bit to the beginning, you see it kind of hesitates here before the flight action really starts uh, over this ridge. So I'd really rather just have it kind of jump into the action uh, before we make it above the ridge. So what I'm gonna do is let's go back into the presentation. And here again, I'm gonna click on the video and then I'm gonna go back to playback. What I can do in playback, I could trim the video. So PowerPoint offers some very basic video editing skills. Now it took about three to four seconds before the action started. So I could drag this uh, start icon over maybe about, let's say three seconds in or so. I'll go about right there. And then maybe I'll trim off just a tiny bit at the end of the clip. And now I'm gonna click OK. And we're gonna jump back into presentation mode and then we could see what it looks like. So here within presentation mode, the action starts off right away and we fly right towards the ridge. So the, the trim worked very nicely. And as part of the Kevin uh, Travel Vacations company, we take you to all sorts of incredible destinations. They're really unbelievable because really no one has been to many of these places. If you've ever wanted to go to the island where Thomas the Train navigates around on tracks, Sodor is your destination. If you've ever wanted to go to Azkaban, that's the prison island from Harry Potter, people go to Alcatraz all the time. Why shouldn't they go to Azkaban? There's also Skull Island if you wanna meet Kong. There's also Isla New Bar, the InGen company is doing some interesting thing with dinosaurs. They have something called Jurassic Park. Could be interesting to visit. And lastly, this is not a fictional island, but the Kevin Vacation Company also goes to the Centalese Island. If you've never heard of it, it's a small island off the coast of India where you have a tribe living who has had very, very few contacts uh, with the outside world. So they truly are living in the past. So this slide looks good. This is great. This will surely excite people about my vacation packages. And then lastly, here is my last video slide and there are some amazing deals. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's play this video. There's a cool guy with a big drone controller hooked up to him, uh, looks a little nerdy. And here you see me and it kind of flies out. But one of the problems is the text on this slide is a little bit hard to see. There's not all that good contrast. And what's really nice in Microsoft PowerPoint, all of your same editing tools, the ability to insert text, you can do all of that on top of the video. So here what I could do is, let's say I wanna add some additional contrast. I could select this text box and then I'm gonna go up on the ribbon and click on shape format. And what I could do is I could fill this shape. So I'm gonna click on shape fill and we're gonna insert, let's say a black background. Now that's a little stark, doesn't really fit in with the feel of my presentation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click back on shape fill and I'm gonna go down to gradient. And on gradient, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go down to more gradients. And what I can do now is I have my format shape pane open on the side. I could adjust the transparency on this. So maybe I just want a little bit of uh, transparency here just so you could see the text a little bit better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close that pane. And what I could do is I'll play the video again 
And so here you can see uh, the neat little video that talks about some of the amazing deals that we have. Once again, we take you to spectacular destinations. We have very friendly guides. They happen to be experts in telling you how to do different things on your computer. And there's also very comfortable lodging in tents where you get to sleep on hard ground. Now the trip started only $50,000. You could go to Mount Everest for $50,000 or you could go to a place like Jurassic Park. Which one do you prefer? And so here too, the video will simply continue looping until I finish the chalk track that goes along with this slide. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close that here. And the last thing that I also wanted to call out, so I, I showed three examples of content I put in for the Kevin Travel Company, but what you can also do is Microsoft PowerPoint offers a set of uh, pre-created video backdrops. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on the slideshow again. And here you could see a very subtle background that you could insert through ideas uh, in Microsoft PowerPoint. So you could you could insert these different kind of pre-customized uh, video backgrounds into your slides if you don't wanna go out and search for video backgrounds. Now the easiest way to get video backgrounds for your videos, what you could do, once again, you click on insert. If you don't have any super inspiring videos of your own, uh, what you could do is you could get online videos. And like I said before, uh, these are YouTube videos or any type of URL that you have for an online video, you could insert that here and then you could use that as your background. Uh, so that is one avenue where you could get some very nice backgrounds. That was just a quick tutorial of how you could really up your game in PowerPoint and have some really impressive backgrounds. Now the backgrounds I showed today in this video, these are drone videos that I recorded and I thought they fit really well with the theme of travel. Uh, if you've been in the market for a drone, hey, now you could justify it. You could create some amazing backdrops for your business presentations or your school presentations. So let's say you need to convince your wife to get a drone hey, this is some extra ammunition, it'll help your case. Uh, kidding aside, that one probably would not work with my wife. Anyway, hopefully this helped you create some amazing looking PowerPoint presentations, and I'm sure people are gonna be amazed by your uh, skill set in Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, if you created something looking amazing, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, once again, if you wanna see more amazing videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other ideas or anything else you want me to show you how to do, leave a comment down below, I'll add it to my list of videos to create. And hey, that's all I had for you today, I hope to see you next time, bye.